This is another really important question. What do you do in what we call the PD-1 refractory setting? Those that had gotten an immune checkpoint inhibitor and unfortunately had progressive disease. And there are multiple options available, but I think the main challenge that we face as a community and that we need to address is that those options in general don't go for cure. Those are important. They aim to prolong life. They aim to make life better, but they're not getting rid of the cancer altogether. And so with that caveat and with the, the caveat that we really need to do better as a community to push towards cure, there are multiple options and we're in a world, thankfully, where those options are expanding. So for quite some time, the options have been mostly tyrosine kinase inhibitors, that even if one was used in the frontline setting, that there are multiple options to use after that. And now we have a new mechanism of action entering kidney cancer with HIF2 alpha inhibition. And so we do have multiple options uh, after uh, uh, immune checkpoints have are no longer working, but we need to do better to make sure those are options that not just improve the length of life, but really aim for cure. The question of rechallenge is a, is a tough one. The best data so far that we have is from the CONTACT-03 trial, phase three trial that rigorously looked at this question with cabozantinib versus cabozantinib plus atezolizumab uh, in an immediate rechallenge, and it was a clearly a negative study. There's some limitations. We know atezolizumab is maybe you know, not as potent as some of the immune checkpoint inhibitors, but it is the strongest data that we have. It does leave questions open, though, and those are things we don't know the answer to. What do you do after adjuvant therapy? That's a separate question. What about delayed rechallenge? Um, so not immediately rechallenge with an IO, but later down the line. And there's some small studies like Fraction RCC and others that potentially hint at some benefit, but that's still in my mind an open question. Um, and so I don't think that immune rechallenge is over, but I think uh, unless there's a really strong rationale to do it as a routine matter, an immediate rechallenge with immune checkpoint inhibitor is probably not a good idea for now, at least until we see the results of TNEVO2.